little bit about what it means to you to have international volunteers come and visit you? It is life-changing and it actually builds our organisation purely because the international volunteers, you know, are, are sometimes very unaware of the customs and the way things happen. So they ask a lot of questions and they, they have come to make a difference. That's the bottom line. They have come to make a difference. They've put their money where their mouth is. Mm. And you don't get that often these days. And because they have done that, they, they want to know about our customs. They want to know about this. They want to know about that. So even if an international volunteer sort of gets to work at nine, has a lunch break, and then goes home, they still make a difference with our African children purely because not enough white people, green, Indian, checked or striped care. And they need to know that there's more people who care out there, not just Bobby Bear. And for our, our team, with the, with the overseas volunteers, our team grows. They grow by leaps and bounds, you know. And they realize, you know, we, we had some Dutch volunteers. And most of the black women think that it was only them who, who, who suffered under apartheid and were oppressed. And then the Dutch volunteers told them about Anne Frank. You know, and the black women at the tree, there's anything from a dozen to six dozen, depending on the weather and the height of the river, you know, uh, the overseas volunteers have no barriers, so they interact with our people in the most positive and wonderful way. Bobby Bear also runs um, what we call a support group under a tree, and um, there's anything from 80 to 300 children. Again, depending on the weather, you know, so all these kids under the tree we have um, on our books and these are kids who have been raped and they've been through the courts or they are orphaned by HIV AIDS, they're vulnerable and that's where the volunteers are fantastic because this support group is the aftercare. You know after a child has been raped and they go all through the system, the you've got to bring some aftercare. So I thought, well, let's go under a tree, you know, <laughs> and it works. And the main focus is for these children to play. You know, if you give an African child um, Lego, he'll build something this big. He'll steal it, take it home, and build something this big. Whereas we haven't got the time. We're too busy snatching them from the jaws of hell, you know. So the overseas volunteers at the tree are absolutely magnificent because they tend to sort of latch on to four or five children and they, they will teach the kids how to build something with the Lego. And African people are very creative, it's very creative. And you can always see when an overseas volunteer has been with one of the children. So from 80, to 300 children who need aftercare after all the trauma they've been through, I would say that's the most valuable 